and welcome and salam sejahtera to Professor, Associate Professor, Dr. Tuan Tuan and Puan Puan. This webinar is supported by Faculty Education Top Management and the Dean, Associate Professor Dr. Saripa Rosaina, Deputy Deans, Dr. Halima, Dr. Muhammad Kairizan, and uh, Dr. Zarizi. And this webinar is uh, following up from webinar conducted by Renew. Previously, uh, we have attended a few uh, webinars from Renew. For example, 21st uh, December, we attended the Do and Don't in FRGS by Professor Dr. Mohamidi from UKM. 24th December, we attended writing a FRGS proposal from Professor Dr. Chan Yuan Food from Faculty of Education. 26th January, we attended tips for successful PRGS application by Professor Dr. Ismail Musirin from FKE. We did a PRGS grant by Professor Dr. Haslinda from Faculty of Accountancy. And 27 January, we attended FRGS Rules of Thumbs by Professor Dr. Roslan from USM. And uh, 3rd February, we attended FRGS for Social uh, social Science by uh, Professor Mohamed Daud Nozaidi. And today, we have two webinars. After this session, we have another webinar which is very helpful. It's about Taklimat Pencarian Pattern Bagi Pemohonan uh, Grant KPT. I hope that after this session, we can attend another webinar at 4 o'clock. Okay, so uh, let me introduce Prof. Panjip. Uh, Prof. Panjip is an external and internal evaluator for FRGS and PRGS grants. He has experience in evaluating research proposals at uh, university and KPT levels. Okay, without any delay, we would like to uh, invite Prof. Anjip to give the talk. Prof. Okay, Anjip. okay. Yeah. thank you very much, Dr. Teo. Appreciate it for the welcoming address. Uh, first of all, thank you for asking me to come and give a talk at 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm sure most of you all sitting here will say 2.30 is the time to be sleeping, although we are at home. So it's 2.30, it's a sleeping hour, you all have just taken your lunch. If you all have brought your pillows with you, it's very good. If no pillows, you can pretend you are listening. I wouldn't mind if you are sleeping also. Okay. Uh, when I was asked to for this talk, I remember giving a similar talk. I think around seven months ago, my title was an inside story. So today, I was asked to give a talk. I'm just uh, what you can. And I was not sure. Can you all hear me? By the way, I'm speaking to myself or speaking to the audience. Can you all hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Prof. Okay. Thank you. Loud line is clear. Okay. And uh, I was asked to give a talk today, so I was not sure what to say. Frankly speaking, I've attended, you know, Dr. Thieu has mentioned five speakers who have given a course on FRGS, five. I, I attended five. The last one was from Do Prof. Dr. Baka. And before that, were from, from Prof. Rusaini from USM. Then earlier the, earlier was from Dr. Prof. Dr. Chan from our Faculty of Education. After going through all their talks, and I notice it. All the information provided is exactly the same. I, I went through the uh, PowerPoint slides. All the information provided is exactly the same. The information provided about FRGS for the past three years to five years is very similar, only minute changes. And uh, so there again, we are going to give you the same thing. So my question before I start, I prepared 
I think 50, 60 over slides to show I am quite hardworking a bit. I prepared quite a number of slides. But what I want from here is before I start my presentation, I don't want to present for the sake of presenting. I rather listen what you want to know because I'm sure most of you guys have attended many talks and there are certain things that you all don't understand. Certain things, not everything. Rather than repeating the whole thing again, I think it would be a better idea because one and a half hour session and I want you guys to, those who are especially applying for FRGS for this coming semester, you must attend a four o'clock talk about as a new criteria for patent search with carry five marks. So you should go for that also. So can you all tell me, I'm not looking into the chat, Unique, can you just open your mics and tell me what you all expect from my talk? In that case, I'll get a clear description rather than telling what I want you all to listen Rather, I talk what I want you all to, you all wanted to know. Is it possible? Can you just give me a brief description what you all expect from this talk and you all want to know? I'll appreciate it. Yes, what you all want to know, I know you all are here. What you all are expecting that want to fill in the camp, I'm sure you all have attended so many talks. What is it that you all are writing a proposal, you all are facing difficulty, so that I can emphasize on that point rather than doing the whole thing? Dr. Tia, I'll introduce for you. Dr. Tio is the coordinator of Faculty of Education for Research. So she's in charge of very important portfolio and she's trying to do as far as possible to ingrain this culture of research in the faculty. So she's doing a fantastic job. Thank you, Dr. Tio. I think Prof can tell you what the panel wants from us. Sure, I will tell you there's everything but the panel. What else are more? I'll give you the inside story what the panel are looking and how they will reject your proposal. What else are more you all want to know? Which aspect of the proposal you all are facing difficulty? No questions. I'm giving an opportunity for you to raise your opinions or any question you all want to ask. Is there are there any questions you all want to ask? That is what may our proposal be rejected. I will tell you so many ways your proposal can be rejected. Okay. Crucial thing the examiner want to look at. Okay. Good topic for FRGS. Okay. That, that will not be my area. I will I will try to add, I'll give examples of topics that were successful because that social science is very wide so i cannot tell you what area but i'll give you an example latest topic okay i'll try my best based on experience what else amo what else amo I, I, what may i propose to stand out all right the best bu budget allocation i think can answer all the questions rather than presenting my slides you know i have 60 old slides and you guys are going to sleep is, is it mandatory to use qualitative matter research method for FRGF? Good question. What, what's the area of slant this year? Good question. Is there any certain right facing the proposal? Is your book will help it? Of course, like to be my book will help. Learn that in, in, in this politics way, learn. Of course, book will help. No, no, no. That one is more for research methods for students. Okay, that's more for research method for students. So I'm not trying to prove my book. How to win the panel's heart? I'm telling you, the point is a persuasive way. Now I'm good. Can you share slides via email with your consent? I can. I mean, can you share the slides via email with your consent? Ah, uh, you see, now there's an issue. I will give the slide. The slides actually copyright. And uh, major errors in quality matter that leads the person rejected. All right, I will explain. Okay, I have so many questions. Oh, 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 what is going on? I, I suddenly I got lost. Okay. I think I have the gist what I want to talk about. Okay, I start my presentation now. All right. I'll start my presentation on what I have prepared. I will go fast where I think is not necessary, where you all have known from previous uh, researchers who have presented. Okay. So I've, I've come to the last comment given by major errors in qualitative that lead to profit rejected. Can a research by DN 5254 as members? Of course can. 52 to 54 can, no problem, no issue. 
how to write research question and meet three expectation panel. Okay, I, I'll provide you examples. How to write objective, I'm going to provide you examples. Okay, I start my presentation now. I know what you all are trying to say now. So I got a picture, okay? What are topics and keywords? Okay, I'm going to do my presentation now. And you tell me whether it's there or not, all right? Okay. Can you all see my slides now, Dr. Tio? Is my slides visible? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. I got one and a half hour. You all can stop me anytime you all like because I will, I will I prefer more question and answer session. Okay, there is a condition here. I'm not telling that my way will make you successful. I'm not telling that. I'm just telling based on the experience which I've been with the ministry for the past four or five years on, KP, on KPT panel and UITM panel, what they are looking for. What they are looking for and how we accept or reject based on my experience. And this experience, I think, is quite collective. When I saw the five presentations by the previous researcher over the past three months, it's very, very similar. So, okay, that's the condition here. I'm not telling if you do my way, you will get the proposal. I'm just telling this what is based from my experience. So I'm putting the word title persuasive way because there was a question asked. How to make the proposal accepted by the panel? Okay, for me, I've been I sat in the panel for FRJ for the past four or five years, and KP for our university was very long time already, and I I was just going through. I've related so far around 150 to 200 proposals from various universities in the country. I evaluated around 200 proposals about FRGS. So based on my limited experience, roughly I know what they are looking for and what are the criteria for FRGS to be accepted or rejected. Uh, let me tell you the key point here is the job of IPT, our university, is for your proposal to be accepted as many proposals as possible. I repeat, IPT's job, like our university's job, is to accept as many proposals as possible. The KPT's job, let me tell you, is to reject as many proposals as possible. So there's a dichotomy situation here. The KPT's job, because they have hundreds hundreds of proposals and they cannot give to everybody. They have a limited budget also. So their job is to reject your proposal. If it does not go according to the criteria set. So that's why each of you all must go to the criteria. First thing first, guideline of FRGS. What is FRGS? How to prepare a competitive proposal, evaluation criteria and what application not successful. I think all these questions were asked just now in the chat. And for information, 18th of January was the date where we have this opening of FRGS and 31st of March is the closing date for the KPT. But for the IPT, you have to go through the screening process. It will take some time. Okay. Prof. Baka was the last one to did this FRGS PS proposal. Before Prof. Baka, we have the do's and don'ts in FRGS. Then after that, we have the winning FRGS research grant. Then after that, we have from Dr. Uh, my friend, Dr. Nour Zaidi. Then we have from Dr. Ruslan Raini, which I attended. And then we have earlier from Prof. Dr. Tan. All of them have said about FRGS criteria. The question now is, I don't think it remains to, by now, each of you all who are already on the verge of submission have read and read and reread your proposal many times today. I hope so. Because one time would not be enough because my talk today is going to be in a persuasive way to how to uh, your writing style that will entice the panel. Okay, and to and this is my my talk for the day, the persuasive way. I put a talk on a persuasive way, lah. but roughly I'm talking from the writing aspect. Okay, I'll be talking from the writing aspect today. Okay, these are the first thing guidelines. I'm not going to go through. You all have read this one before. Proposal writing is different from other type of academic writing. Let me stress on the persuasive writing way. Let me tell you proposal writing is different from other type of academic writing because stating the facts is not enough. You must persuade the reader. You must persuade your reader. Who are your readers? Let me tell you. Huh? 
majority of us who got PhD, we are very good in writing facts. Very good. We can get from literature, this place, this, this place, this place, this place, this place, this Persuading way to how to show it that I am writing this proposal, you need to give it to me, the persuasive way. And you must persuade your reader. Who's your reader? The evaluators. Writing a content, everybody can write. All of us have done the PhD, majority of us. But how do we write to make it persuasive enough so that the panel will say you deserve it? Writing proposal, that's from M. First is the time. Based on the time, I think you are given enough time. You are given enough time from 18th of January. However, you mustn't say the proposal started 18th of January. The proposal write-up started way, way before that since last, last year. You did if we did not get the FRGS last year, we already started to how to write. So we cannot say we don't have time enough. You can this time you know every year there'll be two openings. And you by now we already know when can we do the write-up. So time is not an issue, which we already have ample time. Number two, homework. Now the question is homework. Oh, okay. We must uh, in the time we must not write last minute. When we write last minute, definitely get proposal. Let me tell you an experience. One of my friends from different university, she's asked, she's writing for a proposal, and she knew that I'm the KPT panel. She asked me to read. When I read, I rejected the proposal straight away because why? There's not enough zest inside the write up. And we must not write in such a way like a copy and paste word. One of the persuasive ways, I must hear your voice. Cut and paste, it shows that you copy it and just paste it to put the facts inside. There must be some iteration and plan accordingly. Read, read, and read. At least there may be a few layers of reading and before you submit. Now, homework. Did you do your homework? Homework here, I mean, does it align with the Requirement of KPT. Requirement of KPT, they always say why and how. If we do not know why and how, will be rejected. If we start talking about what, 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 what in the objectives or research question, will be rejected straight away. So by now, we should be able to know of all the five panels we have done before this, all of them have mentioned about the criteria for fundamental research in why and how. I will reiterate one more time, but by now, you all should know what is it. Now, Organization. Organization is so, so important. The reason is because why I said you must start the time given is whatever you write in your executive summary must be reflected in your background, must be reflected in your objective, and must be reflected in your method. You see, there is an organization here. They will find if you said something in your executive or you say something in your background, it's not reflected in the method. They'll reject it. Again, the KPT's panel is to reject it because why there are so many proposals. And from the KPCT perspective, we do not give you back to amend your proposal. So I say there is an organization involved. The organization involved is step one. Whatever you write in your, in your executive summary, whatever you write in your background comprising of problem statement, comprising of your research question, comprising literature review, objective and methods are all as one. They will reject if your objectives does not tally with your method. They will reject if your method does not tally with your background. So it is an organization where you need time. The third one is the strategy. The third one is strategy. In here, it simply means what strategy we use so that our, read, our reader is get interested in your reading. And the fifth one is human resources. Human resources is simply means our culture here is, let me tell you, one of the bad culture we are having is when we write a research proposal, you are the PI. But when you are a PI, we will not get help from other members to help you to write. We will always say, uh, do you want to come into my team? But one person will do the write-up. When one person do the write-up, it's always very difficult unless you have a lot of time. The same person. When you start your write-up, you're writing about your problem, st your problem statement or literature, you're very enthusiastic writing. But once you read a certain time, 
when you got limited time, uh, there will there will be burnout state where you will just write for the sake of writing it. That's where the human resources, the team plays such an important role. Under the human resources, one of the most important thing is language. Don't let your language kill your proposal. Don't let your language kill your proposal. Grammar, grammar, grammatical errors or language structure errors is the no no here. The panel must always look at your idea. So that's why I'm trying to say these five. What is this? During the you cannot control the shared content until you stop. I don't know what it is. Okay, so these are the the, the criteria given here. Okay, now let me go back to my slide again. Okay, so I just now I said the five criteria here. Your proposal must be compelling because. Most academicians don't like to be told or say something without explanation. And this is definitely true for panel reviewers. When you want this panel to be receptive to your argument, make sure to give the reason why. I think this is very important. That's why I'm trying to say the persuasive writing style. The persuasive writing style, it cannot be copied and pasted to give the panel why should make. That's why you need, let me tell you, you need a language person to write it. You cannot pan our thought. I repeat, if we cannot pen our thought, you need someone help. That's why you need an organization, our team, human resources, one team. Sometimes we are very good in our content, what we want to do, but we will not know how to express the idea in a persuasive way. In this case, in this case that's why we need some help language people. Uh, that's Okay, next one is consistency. The consistency, what I meant here is, let me tell you, the panel, what they look at, they look at the consistency from your executive summary, what you state in your executive summary, what you state in your problem statement, what you state in your literature review, your objectives and your method. If there is no consistency, that means what you want to do in certain time, you do not write or whatever, you reject it. So your writing style, consistency is very, very important. I hope you all, you all understand what the meaning of that. Now, it's very difficult. What I'm trying to say is to be persuasive, very easy to say than done. Those people who have their proposal rejected, for them, you ask them and see, they'll say it's persuasive. However, I would always advise you to go and read those people's proposal who has been uh, accepted. Read their proposal and see. Once you read their proposal, you will get an idea. I'm sure those people who are successful, ask them for their proposal. Can I have a look at your proposal? They will definitely give. I'm very sure. They will definitely share with you. Ask and you look at the proposal and you see how they write. But I'm not telling if you write as they you will get accepted. For one, trying to say the persuasive style of your voices in your research is very, very important. Must hear your voice. Then, the spelling and grammar. I think that is the no-no in the structure of flow of your language. There is no-no. You must get someone edit your language before you ask anyone to read Arabic. You get someone to read your, your proposal especially a language person, let them edit whatever. Don't let the person who's reading your proposal to amend your proposal based on the language structure and the flow, not on the ideas. I notice in majority of times when I'm looking at someone's proposal, like I'm the example, I was looking at a proposal for another university. When the person gave it to me, she says she wanted to submit today. I don't, I'm not sure whether the person is sitting here or not. Uh -huh, okay. If the person is sitting, I'm telling the truth by the way. Initially, was on the language. I spend more time on the language than the content. My suggestion is, if you want to ask someone to look at your review, your proposal, make sure let them to review on the content, not on the flow of structure and language. Language, you cannot write three, four sentences in one sentence, please. Okay. Let 
the panel review and make comments that are focused on your idea and not language. That's one very persuasive thing. The first thing we look at your idea is your write-up. If you write up, the language is horrid. And let me tell you, there are some that are horrid, they expect us to accept it, you will be in big, big trouble. By seeking out criticism, especially from which we hard to hear from panel who are experienced, you may see significant improvement in proposing letter. I think it's good to go and seek from those who are expert in this area. Show them, read to them. Don't expect them to read five, 10 pages. Ex what you want to do, the main thing is the executive summary, certain thing, what should be inside that is very technical. When you ask their opinion, they can give you some opinion. Of course, critique with not constructive is not good enough. I always believe you critique somebody, you make sure you have suggestion following that. Okay, back to the old story of FRGS. Now we're back to what my presentation or about. The persuasive way was just now. It's all on the content, how persuasive we are in our right now. Now, why and how? Let me tell you why and how. Here, the meaning of fundamental is simply there's already an existing problem. There's already an existing problem your job is, why is there a problem and how you can overcome this problem? Not what is the problem. If you are going to investigate what is the problem, it is not fundamental. But I'm not telling you, you cannot have what inside your research. Now, there is already an existing problem. Fundamental is given for you to try to curb that problem. How you are going to implement something so that your outcome is going to be something new or whatever, some discovery. You are not going to develop anything. That's why the title people always say, do not put develop anything. Okay, uh, this is a, a, a fundamental to 2021. It's around 35, 40 pages. I, I've gone through that. What the later? There's only a few things addition inside here. There are seven areas. I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to go into this. You have done all before. There. The goal is to discover new knowledge. I don't know what you mean by new knowledge. I always believe in extension of knowledge. New models or new framework. They like the word models or framework. New theories possible. Or whatever you see, majority is coming up with something new on how you solve the problem. It's not developing something. So these are the, the 10 for my social economy. You can choose whatever you like. So just when someone asked me which area, I cannot answer that question because there are so many areas. But however, if you're on the social science side, I think they never tell us, let me tell you the current trend, they never tell us what's the area. We are having a meeting on the eight. Yeah, we have the KPT panel meeting is on the 8th of February. Then another one on the 11th. Up till today, they already sent all the letters out, but they have not told us what are the new areas. This is for you to discover. But if you ask me, the new area is going to be everything related to COVID. If you can get something related to COVID, I think that would be the best thing to do. But I'm not telling that's the latest, but what I think, if I am the panel, when you do something on COVID, new method of teaching or new method of assessment, new method of finance, new method of on, because of COVID, I think there is something new. Again, I'm not an expert on your, that particular area. What new area definitely will be related to COVID. User is starting to share content, what's going on? This is not my... Is anybody sharing the, the screen here? Someone take, taking over the screen? Dr. Tio? User will stop sharing as soon as you start sharing. What is this? Uh, Prof. Anjit, it means that someone's sharing. Pardon? Okay, okay. Okay, no, it's fine. Fine, I've got someone took over my place. Okay, doesn't matter. Yeah, we can view oh. now, Prof. Can, huh? Okay, now here, the sustainable development goals, 
you must select one for how your study be related to one of these. I'm not asking you go back and start reading all these 17 goals or whatever. What I'm asking you is go back and read. Like if your research is related to which policy of the government, let me tell you in your executive summary, the last line of the executive summary state, how does this research will impact which government policy? You must state one specifically. If you do not state one, consider you did not follow the principle. So roughly just copy and paste whichever is related to your area. Okay. Fundamental social, I'm not going to go through. They said they're calling to the why and how of human behavior, not typically designed product or technology. Okay. They do not like the word a survey of avoid words like development, application, application design. Avoid words of no study, research. This is a no no. Let me do this slide. This one was presented to us during our presentation previously. This this slide, you notice it, everybody who present this was this uh, slide was it was given by the KPT to the all the panelists from day one. How can we reflect as the fundamental issue? Okay, these are the successful, these are the successful FRGS proposals that have been submitted before. Eh? Okay. You from here you can roughly have a guide to see the title that can be related to your content in a way of writing. A new corporate efficiency performance model measurement, measurement model based on the data envelopment analysis technique. Or a framework for teaching critical thinking through critical reading. Or modeling the effects of governance in predicting financial distress. These are all successful uh, proposals, yeah? Or leveraging formative assessment, leveraging performance assessment and transformative learning in higher education. Or realizing the aspiration of my brain 15, developing a framework for success. A framework on identity and physical characteristics of Malay Royal Town in Malaysia. Problem solving heuristic model in enhancing student development. These are all successful, successful titles. Notice it, there's no such word at the developing or de sorry, development. So I'm not telling if you put development, they will reject it. But I'm telling you, they, they're always encouraged not to you. Or engaging wellness and e-health promotion framework for the workplace or students engagement framework for working on formation higher education institution. you see notice it, the keyword here is framework something new model these are the buzzwords people always use as your title and make sure your title something look lively or whatever and it will paint a picture of your research the title is very important carry five marks and five percent is your title Okay, now look at the evaluation criteria. There are 12 main criteria and 27 sub criteria. And someone asked the question, which is the most important aspect? The question is everything. However, among all the 12 criteria, the method side, method carries 25%, title carries 5%, executive summary 10%, your objective 10%, 10 or 15%. Literate background 15%, but the method legit. The method is the heaviest weight, which carries 25%. Majority of people get rejected because of method as the first criteria. And now we have a scaling 1 to 10. 1 to 10 simply means if, if your title is excellent, your executive summary is excellent, your literate problem statement is excellent, your objective is out. If you get a score from 1 to 10, from the objective, you get 4 below, and your others, you got full marks, your proposal will be rejected. I repeat, there are all together 12 criteria. Each criteria will be from 1 to 10, the scale 1 to 10. The weightage is different. Okay. If you, on any of these 12 criteria, one of the criteria, you get a score of 4 or below, and others, you get 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, your proposal will be rejected. So the minimum criteria is must have five and above. Now, this was a 2018 findings. Why proposal get rejected? The method was 
metals carry 25%. And from the finding, 152 proposals were because of uh, design, not fundamental, 115. Big, 22, no novelty, 75, poorly written, 71, the language. Track record, 56. There's a track record there also. References, 42. Okay, I'll make a fast one here. Design, they simply mean here that if, since this is 25%, and you give five sentences, six sentences of your design, not good enough. So what they need from the design is, number one, since it's carrying the heaviest weight here, they'd ask you to tell me something about the design of your study. They expect something from your sample and population of your study. They start, expect something about the instrument instrumentation of your study. Give them a brief description about the validity and reliability of your instrument, how you're going to carry it out in your data analysis procedure. These are the minimum steps you must give in your design. Since the design, sorry, the method is 25%, they expect 25% of the total time given to prepare this proposal for method. So carries makes sense. Not fundamental is the why and the how. If your criteria is more, what are the difficulties? What are the types? What are the types? You want to see the, you want to see the what, what, what will get rejected. Not specific and vague, always because of writing what you want to do. You are telling something in your executive summary. You are telling something, your problem statement and something your objective, not clear. Poorly written is because of language. Track record. The track record simply says here, you say you want to do an area of, uh, say, technology development for COVID, something you want, to, you want to do that. You are a language person, just say, yeah, just give me a language person. You want to use a new technological device to enhance students' language. Your whole team comprises of language people, very good publication, but none of those and uh, members inside the team have any, as any uh, expertise on technology. So the track record of the whole team is suspect. So you will get a four because not sure if your team can do this study. References, usually they refer to in your literature review, they want your references to be less than five years old. Of course, you need the old citation. Some old, old citations are always gold, but however, you mustn't cite everything that is outdated. So they expect something that is five years and below. There is a statement, are your references within five years that we have to pick. Then the impact, how impact is your study? The impactful of your study will be determined by the funder. The funder want to give something, try to do this study that can be applied across the nation. That's why they say, how will this policy enhance a certain area of new key research area of the government, which policy will benefit the government. So make sure that it cut across the board. Uh, budget, don't apply 200, 300, 300,000. You know that you won't get it. Although the, ce the ceiling is 250, usually like last year, they gave around, if we said, it's within two to three years. If you do two years, they give, they give around 100. Sorry, three years around 100 because you need to do a PhD. You need to have one PhD candidate. If it's two years, you need one master. So they give around 70 to 80,000. Okay. Same as just now. This is uh, this one. I, I, I copied this one from Prof. Dr. Ruslan. Uh, copyright issue. Uh, I, I got his permission. Executive summary the problem statement is not clear. Objectives are missing. Okay, let me tell you here. Here, the 10%, this 10% states everything of your research, and this only you write at the end of your write up proposal. This should be at the end. Here, we will look at what's the problem of study, what are the objectives of study, what method will be employing, what the expected outcome, and what are the impact of your output to a certain government policy. These are the five things we'll be looking inside. These things are not here. You are reading your mark. I give you an example eh? here. I highlighted here, they already clearly stated you need to have problem statement, objective, research method, expected outcome, and significance output. Here, this can be seen from this write up. One, two, three, it encompasses all the expected language must be good. Then from here, we can say it addresses all the issues as required in the executive summary. I hope it's very clear. So you don't say the last one. 
The output of this is uh, directly in tandem with the Malaysian Education Blue Plan 2025, blah, blah, blah. Whatever the last line, you can get from the SDG goal or 17 SDG goal and put it inside the EU. It must relate to one government policy or national agenda. It must. So it must have, and don't try, like I have read some people, you see you're only given 300 words, not 301. 300 only will be accepted. With 300 words, you must have a balance. You cannot say 250 words you write on problem. Then you say don't have time for method. You must, this write up must be precise and concise and yet encompasses all these five things supposed to be inside here. Must encompass all these things. So we can, so you must balance up between the problem statement, the objective, significant output, method, and so on. And one more thing, the objective here. The objective here is a general objective, is not similar as the objective you have the objective of study of the three three research objective. If you put the three objectives here, you will not have enough space to write the XP summary. I repeat, the objective here should be a general objective from the objective of the study, which you have you know they always advise have three maximum three or four objectives. So don't copy the paste from the three objective put inside here. You won't have enough space. So this one should be the general objective of the study. Research background, I think this one is. You see, this is exactly from the executive summary. We have problem statement. Hyper, okay. Now this hypothesis is another thing, you know. Hypothesis here is not related to quantitative or qualitative related to both. Here, hypothesis is not, it, there is a significant relationship between this and this. It's not that. Here, the hypothesis is what is your expected prediction? What is expected outcome of this study? What do you expect from here? Can you have a hypothesis in, hypo, in, in a qualitative? Of course, can. What do you expect? Or like, you know, Susan Merriam, although qualitative people, they say they don't expect any hypothesis. They cannot focus. Here, Susan Merriam used the word foreshadow hypothesis. I, you all read a word. So is that hypothesis? Definitely. But what do you expect? Research question, literature reviews, right references and relevance of government policy will be stated inside background. It carries 15%. Then these are the 15%. Okay, I'm not going to go into this because this has been presented from the earlier talks. I'm sure you all have listened to the earlier talks. Pro problem statement is very important. But here, let me tell you here, the first part is problem statement. Problem statement, you need to write yourself. You need to express in your own words, not copy and paste, copy and paste. When you copy and paste, they can find out that when you do so technical language, they can find out not your work, you're copying and pasting only. Very easy. The same. The problem statement is the one. See the first, the first impression we get to comp your, your proposal, very compelling to read it, is from your executive summary. Your executive summary must be very compelling, entice the readers. Then the second part is the statement of problem. Once we can see the statement of problem, then they'll have this thing I want to read. If you start putting all the technical language of, you must understand the psychology of evaluation. The psychology of evaluation is not everybody is like social science or liberal arts. They know all your area, but roughly they will know what you are trying to portray a picture. Your executive summary in your first part of your reading must be persuasive enough. I think it must be persuasive enough. So that's where you must make it in such a way entice the reader. Then your citation must, there is a tick. You see this column there, uh, the citation in the last five years, you don't, you mustn't say there are no studies done before. If you know study, then they'll go and check from the literature. Whether, are you telling, if they found there are many similar studies, they'll straight reject it, they'll say no novelty. So my suggestion for you is do not say no such studies has been done before. Rather say very few studies have been done. If you say no studies, it's a very big word. You know, when you say no, we will make a point to go and search in the literature. We will make a search. Then if there are, then we will say there are many similar studies conducted. So there's no novelty in your view. The last one in line with the government policy, like just now you said, you must have either one of the 17 uh, the agendas of SDG, or Malaysian blueprint policy, and so forth. Your objective must be measurable, related to, of course, I think all of you all know, I, I'm not going to go into that. So, objective is 
title is 5%, statement of uh, executive summary is 10%, that is 15. Then your literate, your background is 15, 25, 30. And this research objective 15, 45%. This is 15%. And your research objective don't have three or four is more than enough. Don't have seven, eight objective, please. If you have seven and eight, then you, you, you the, the, the rationale is going to be how can you com complete this two year project with seven objectives? So leave it three, or if you think but kobar kobar, you must make four, okay, make it four, life will have problem. Three is ideal case for a two year study, three objectives. Okay, use, I'm not going to teach you this, it's on part and parcel of writing three objectives. Okay, you see, example, eh? uh, this is what I take my Prof. Roslan's slides. Apakah elemen yang ambil kira? Apakah jenis? Apakah when you put apakah apakah? Or what type of farming? What type of relationship will be rejected? Look at the references. All the old references will be rejected. Will be rejected. Let me tell. These are the small small thing. Might be small for you. You know, might be uh, might be small for you, but very big for the KPT panel. Because the objective KPT panel, each person is given around 25, 25 uh, proposal, 20, 25 each each person. Now, they were not written back to you to ask you to go and change. They cannot discuss with anybody. So their job is, they question us, are the references less than five years? You will say no. So you will put four rejected. You see, if objective to profile, to describe, rejected, no. Okay, now these are the, uh, the objective that have been accepted from previous research to investigate the effects of problem solving, blah, blah, blah. To examine the difficulties, to, uh, this is one study, la, eh? to propose a refined model to enhance the development, blah, blah. This was accepted, one objective for one particular study. This is one one study with three objectives. Or what are the effects of... Pro mm. No, this is a different one, I go next one, okay. Method now. Hey, sorry, this is... These are the research questions. You see the objective now, the objective match your research questions. To investigate the effect of problem solving, to examine the difficulties and propose a refined model. So here, the title was, that they come up with a new, the effects on mod to develop mental thinking. The third one, they're going to come up with something new. The so first one is going to, it's experimental design. The second one is a qualitative method. And the third one, they'll propose a model. Here, what are the effects of problem solving heuristic model application? To what extent do the created mental tasks in the model relate to development? And to what extent do created mental blah, blah, blah. So you see these questions are how related to your objectives of study. It must be related. Method is 25%. It carries uh, the heaviest weight. If you do not put in your time, 25% of the time will definitely be rejected. And in the method, what will expect the design, will expect the sample, instrumentation, data collection, and etc. So you cannot put a five, come with a, a, a proposal, they put one paragraph of the whole thing. 100% will reject, we'll say no depth. And let me tell you, I have rejected so many proposals from the IPT side. Because why? No point asking you to go and amend when you already know it's wrong. And this uh, criteria is not new. It has been for the past three, four years. We expect approach the sample, the instrumentation, data collection, etc. So I think these are the criteria definitely need to be looked into and provide a detailed description. And also, when I notice it, there are many people who will copy and paste. There are many people who will copy and paste. And they copy and paste will be past tense. That can be clear cut that you copied from somewhere. So do not do this one in past tense, all right? Okay. And one more thing, what people like, what I noticed said, what I noticed is try to show some visual representation of the flow or the research activity you're going to do. You see something, this one, when people see this one, again, this is psychological effect, the persuasive way. I'm not telling you put, you're going to get. I'm telling if you put there's a persuasive, persuasive way because why some people want to see do you know how to do with this because you see there are some people who are left brainer and right brainer left brain they are more visualizer right brain they are very analytic 
sorry, no, left brain and analytic, right brain, they are visual side. So some people want to see how are you the flow of your, they'll say, you know what to do. And it's not easy to do this. But if you can come up with, with this type of example in your write-up and give a clear deal, this will compel the readers. Or the second way like this, example or research active so what what i'm trying to say if you can have some visual representation it's good that is a persuasive way of writing but not necessary you will get you can put something that's garbage in the kamar garbage out also further suggestion a proposal with only one paragraph and few sentences will be rejected 100 percent i've done so many times to divide the material into several subsection yes what are the subsection we're looking at as i told you just now I want, we want to see, the panel will want to see, because the criteria is going to be, do you have the design in place? Yes. Don't say, I'm going to use this design. At least give a clear why. I'm going to use experimental design. I'm going to use a descriptive culture design. I'm going to use, in, why? There must be a, they, you know, they like the word why. You don't simply say, I'm going to use this. Give a brief description of the, I'm not asking you five, 10 pages. This one should be at least a minimum of one and a half pages, two pages. You must have a detail of the subsection of design, sample population. In the sample population, you'll say, who are your population? Who are your samples? What's the sample size requirement? You say 350. How did you derive 350? There must be some way how you derive 350. And what sampling method are you going to use? Then you're going to use qualitative, quantitative. Can, you, can this proposal be purely quantitative? Yes. Can it be purely qualitative? Yes. Can it be both? Yes. Okay. So if you are doing quantitative, it's good. Qualitative is good. You do mixed method, it's good. How are you going to analyze the data? This is especially for quantity and qualitative. Qualitative, very important. How are you going to analyze the data? What method you're going to use and so forth? If it'd be good if you can for qualitative, now you're going to do qualitative, right? What are you going to ask? Is it qualitative? The difference between qualitative and quantitative is quantitative, you know, experimental design, you might have some instrument and some questions for whatever. For qualitative, for qualitative, the difficult part is you are the instrument, you're going to ask questions. So we want to know what is it that you're going to ask? What way your focus or your questioning going to ask so that can arrive at the objective study? So for qualitative, you need to give more depth of the questions going to be asked. On quantitative, about the instrumentation so far is very, very important. Okay, the sample size. Someone asked me this question. I was giving this talk already to a different university. Is it a necessity to use the current trend of data analysis of PLS or MOS or SEM? My answer is no. My answer all depends on the research question. If you want to use PLS, it must relate to PLS. If you want to use PLS, must relate to PLS, I'll ask a simple question. Why do you want to use PLS? If you want to use SPSSU, why? If you want to use SCM or MOS, why? Not because, you know, my, my question would be like this. If in the background, you say students, you know, students way of thinking, students way of thinking, students cannot reason. So all this one you mentioned inside your, object, inside your problem or statement, Students cannot think, students cannot think, their reasoning not good, their communication not good, and yet you are looking at quantitative. You are looking at relationship, putting PLS, I'm going to question already. So you see now, whatever method you use for an analysis will be based on your writer. If in your problem statement, you say, nowadays your problem is students cannot reason, students cannot think, what going on at their cognitive processes, Students are not able to do that, difficulties. If you mention that your problem statement, and yet in your PLS, because you say you're using Linton variables and you're using PLS, I'll question your technique does not suit your problem statement. You can see the matching or not. Just now I told you your connectivity, it must go across from the executive summary, statement of problem, literature review, objective and method. Yeah, I hope making sense. I'm not sure whether it's making sense or no. The expected results is 10%. If you are doing the first criteria, you're going to come up with a new module or you're going to come up with a new framework. Publication. The current one is three publication. If I'm not mistaken, one must be ISI. I think so. The current one. So there are three. No, maybe two. I'm not sure. You better check. It's good to put 
which publication will you want it to go into? It will be very good. However, you will say, we'll put in one ISI publication of the nature. Just say you want to impress the panel. We are very impressed. You say you want to put nature, the Q1 journal of the world. It's excellent. Where we, we always go for it. Then we notice it. None of your team members have written anything on nature. You reject your proposal. So make sure whatever you put is reflected by your teamwork. One question asked, if the PI, the investigator, is a young person, can you put in a proposal? Answer is can. You can put in, but make sure you have enough experienced team members to guide you. One of the criteria, you see the human capital, if you are doing a three years, you need um, at least a PhD. If you are doing a two years, you at least need one master's. If you have not graduated any PhD and you do a three years and your team members are all your friends who have not graduated any, uh, have not graduated any master's or PhD, the expected result will put as four or below will be rejected. Your proposal is excellent. But when it came to excellent expected result, you only give four or three, you'll be out. So make sure your team comprise of members who are balanced. If you think I'm like you are lacking in terms, I don't have, I don't have a PhD. Make sure I have my my experienced member with me who are able to guide me. If I don't have a person who have publication in high index journal, make sure you have a team member inside there of high. But make sure this team panel must be related to your research. Example, I give you. Previously, there was one study one. This this person was doing on. No, I cannot mention, I mention name faculty will come out. What I'm trying to say, it must have a balance. If you are doing something, your area is language. You are doing on technology. Your publication, not on technology, make sure that someone else in your team has the capabilities of what I'm trying to say. Impact on social economy and nation. And that one you put related to education blueprint 2013, 2025 or any SDG policies, track record and composition. These are the things we look at. Successful research, qualification rank of researchers. Let me tell you, this qualification rank, what the panel will do, they are always advised, go and look at that panel's Google citation. That's one way out. If that panel is, this one will check whether has that person done at that area or not. So always we recommend to do the area which you are expert in. If you're not expert in, the chances are very, you might not be able to lead that team. So always try to do the area that you are expert in. And your project team must be a well-balanced team. For a well-balanced team, you all together, you can put you and four more people. My suggestion to you is, if for now, if for now, you're facing difficulty of getting team members. Get three members first. Later on, you can add one more. You can add one more if it's successful from the IPT side. Okay, quality of proposal is 10%. Is it metricless? I think metricless come from how many times you have reiterate your proposal, how many times you have read your proposal. So that must be grammar free, a structure of language is no issues with that and must be a clear flow of ideas. Language important and good formatting. Then the last one will be the element of FRGS criteria. If we are happy with the top one, then we will say, yes, there's no value one. If the up one give all problem, the, the panel don't understand what they'll say, no elements of novelty. Whereas this is easiest to do. And this is easier for the panel if they don't understand what you're trying to do, your objective does not match your question, your objective does not match your problem statement, or does not match your exit. Here will come out, no element of FRGS, or no impact, no novelty. This is the easiest for us to, to reject your problem. That's the easiest area. Okay, this is the new one. I think since last year, Peyton Colway, and this is bonus mark. This is 5%. As long as you do it, you'll get 5%. I think today at 4 o'clock, there'll be a talk on this. You better go and listen and we are get the panel will be going for this talk on the eight i told you just now about patent collaboration risk is you, 
here they mean patent collaboration where they copyright or whatever collaboration they always suggest good to have members from the industry or from different universities they always so uh, the, 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 they like those who have collaboration from different universities or from different industries very very advisable if you can have that i think these samples i've already said just now this will be example look at look at the, the object method method eh? the method section adequately address all the sections however no discussion on how the objective three of the study to valid you see now you got three objectives we expect the three objective how you're going to attain the objective inside your method if you do not address even one objective in your method will be rejected so that's why the method section most important thing you get a team to work on it and scrutinize based on the criteria given go and ask someone experience to look at your proposal don't expect the person to read take very long you present in front of the person will be so much easier what are we evaluating the nine criteria this is the one title five percent x summary ten percent background fifteen percent objective fifteen method twenty five expected result ten five five so this is what encompasses the main criteria how to reject any one of these nine just not someone how do we do one is one of them is rejected but highest criteria rejection always the method followed by the background that's the most time and the third one is the quality of the proposal and you see now when we our assessment here the title from one to ten i guess if you give seven months they got 3.5 based on the pro rate eh? pro rata. then execute summary is 10 you got four once you get four this objective fails. I repeat, execute summary is 10%. If the score is 4, automatically is rejected. So that's why I say from these 12 criteria, you must have any minimum of 5. Similar here, objective 15%. If you from 1 to 10, you got 6, you got 9 marks. Method 25%, you got 5 marks, you got 12.5%. So minimum is uh, minimum is score of four. Eh? It's called a score of five. So these are the criteria how we whether you reject of okay. The last criteria, the last election one we have the award is thirty to forty percent. We gave the last FRGS criteria, although our university we did not get any proposal successful because and it was about. 60,000 for each applicant. We were given 22. I was given 22, I know. It's plus minus. And usually, uh, if it's 20%, that means it's four. There'll be four plus minus, and each will be around 60, 65. Unless, because if you do for two years, if you do for two years, uh, Two year project, and if you give thousand eight to uh, GRA, it comes to forty three thousand two hundred per liter grant. So this forty three two hundred is for the GRA, and twenty thousand is for other aspects. So as I said earlier, IPT to accept as many, APT to reject as many. IPT when in the, within a university, when we look at you send your proposal to RMC. There are minor mistakes, they send back, you got major mistakes. I don't think we have time to go into everything. KPT, you will KPT will look at the amendments made in IPT. I repeat, huh? the KPT side, we can have it. all the how many drafts you have done from the IPT side, then we will look at the changes you have made. So again, from KPT side, your proposal is a mistake. We are not written back to the reader, we are not written back to the to the, the researcher, we have to reject on the spot. Winning proposal, I, I, I always believe assemble a competent team. Don't you write a proposal and get three people. Do you want to be inside my, my, my team? And last minute, you need time, you need homework, you need organization, you need consistency writing. You need a team to work on this proposal. It's not a thing. It can be done a single person, no issue, but you need time. Then 
writers are seen clear, logical, and cohesive. This is called a persuasive writing. You need persuasive writing to entice the reader. When they read, they can see the words you are putting in. Why is it a necessity for them to give you a grant? Ensure your method is clear. Show how important it is for national interest. That means that is the how your study is related to need a new key research area, blueprint, and NPA. National, I should have I should cannot remember. Write it clear and convincingly. This can only be done with time. And your output, actually your output is not that difficult. They expect one master's if you do a two years. They expect two or three publications can be done, no issue. They expect some what expect some output. You say you got a new copyright or whatever, can be expected. So the output should not be an issue. But remember, provide a reasonable budget. Don't apply for 200, 250,000. Although the budget they allow up to 250,000, two to three years, but you will never get. Unless your, unless your proposal is something going to change, you're coming up with a new vaccine. Well, definitely uh, then possible. I have no idea. A vaccine to improve COVID. Social science. I don't know yet. Okay. So these are the budget now. My recommendation in you put in your budget, you put salary 44,000, you make sure you stay there, 1,800 times 24 months, first year and second year. If you put traveling and transportation, you break out, give detailed description of your travel. If you put research material supply, give details of the research and material. If you put professional services, give detail. Let me tell you, most of the time, I will advise you to put that word 11,000, you got no choice. Try to put majority of your funds in word 29,000. Word 29,000, you can use for so many other things. Whereas the other things are quite specific. And you are allowed to do word wireman end of the year. Twice, if you do year project, twice. So if just say now you are using and after eight months, nine months, you have not used your traveling transportation. You can trans, uh, you can wire the budget from vote twenty one thousand into vote twenty nine thousand and so forth. You can do that afterwards. So, professional service for your uh, conference fee, or you hire people to, I don't know, to run your instrument, or you hire someone to an expert to check your language. The ones that they allow, I which I don't understand why. As a university professor, you should be able to do it, but they do allow, I can see that. Uh, conference publication fee you put inside here. Uh, make sure you put a pu publication 1,005 to 2,000 times 3, you got 6,000. And not allowed to go for conference in the first year, only the second year onwards. On overseas, only the Ketua and can go. Ketua and the Penolo. Uh, RAs cannot go for international conference, but they can go for local conference. It is 250. The time is running up. I know. I better hurry. I prefer question and answers. This one you all have done before. Okay, this is the one which I don't understand up till today. You are not allowed to communi uh, communication equipment, office equipment, hardware, workstation, laptop, blah blah blah, printer, stationery, any purchase. Okay, you look at the. If I'm a lawyer that are not directly related to research projects. Not directly. So, if a lawyer is see this one, and it, if you buy a laptop, although they, are, they will deny it, unless you can say the laptop which you want to do is a high impact laptop you do not have, then you can allow, you are allowed to buy. So to say blankly you're not allowed is not right. If you are coming up with something, you need a certain type of high powerful laptop. Let's say, I, I don't know. So if it, do not have at a current your faculty does not have you can buy but again that are not directly related to research project related means can buy but most of the time they were rejected by the way they put stationery <coughs> as a blanket they are rejected i wouldn't know why books and journals are not allowed okay why success No original idea. Uh, this one is no relevant knowledge or the pr proposal is not qualified or capable. So you must have a little bit of publication, you must have a little bit of knowledge to do. With your PhD is fine. You understand with your PhD is fine to do within your idea. 
does not lead to new findings, objective and not clear. So these are the what very easy to reject your pro what they'll put this type of comments. So these are the sample of comment from the database which I got it. The samples of comment. Too ambitious or very limited. Don't try to come out with two PhD students. Like there's someone the other day someone will do three years, one come out with PhD and master. Just do one. If it's three year project, one PhD, two year project, masters is fine. Okay, the first step is please register. Start writing today. And that's all, folks. Okay, I've finished my presentation. Now, you all have any questions for me? Hello, uh, There are a few questions in the chat. Uh, I read out. Okay, uh, you want to uh, read? I, okay, you can read. Okay, I read. Huh? The from first where? one. I, I, I can understand from where? Okay. Okay, start. Uh, the first one is, can project led by a DM52 with DM54 as member? The issue is, the mentor is not an issue. A person is DM54, the issue we do not look whether it's mentor or mentee. You can lead, but the person, the 54 or a 52, is an experienced person in terms of his API, his publication and track record. If his track record is good, doesn't mean the person must be a professor. I'm not telling that. It must be based. Say you might you might be a DM45. You got decent publication, but your person, the experienced one who is in, in your area or whatever who can guide you, he's very experienced. Have come up with PhDs and masters and publication. We can accept that. Doesn't mean must be a person in higher grade. We are looking at the KPIs. Okay. Uh Propanji is the second question. How to write research question meet the acceptance of the panel? I have given just now, I should I showed example just now already. Yeah, I saw just now, I gave inside my, my presentation already. Oh yeah, now. okay, okay. So uh the next one is there a minimum percentage for a proposal to be approved? Uh no, no, it's like that. It's like that. The proposal have nine uh, have twelve criteria. The 12 criteria, the heaviest weight is methods, 25%. However, from these 12 criteria, is if just say, if just say example, give you, if one of the criteria you got a score of four or less, you might get a score of 90. But one of the criteria you got a score of four or less, you'll be rejected. So the condition, everything must have a minimum score of five. After I was saying that, you can get a scores. Say I got 10 proposals. All are very good, 85. But we cannot give to everybody. So we'll see which is the best out of the best. So usually what we will do, if we want to give that person, we'll make this person score 85, 87 to say he, he, he's, he's liar to get the proposal. So there's no such thing a minimum score. Because why? The budget is very limited. When the budget is very limited, you're only given a success rate of 20%. We cannot give everybody. To do one research, we cannot give 20,000. Last year was 60,000 plus plus. So we make that. Rather than giving, earlier we plan or give each person 80. So rather than that, if we compile everybody from 80 go to 60, we save 20,000 from one, from one person, we can add one more candidate inside. So that's how we do. So there's no... Of course, you must have a minimum marks requirement. I think the requirement is 80, I think so. 70 or 80. Next question, Dr. Cho. Uh, another one. Uh, Propanji is, uh, wait. Uh. Yeah. There are assumptions that the ministry appears to have sidelined cultural performing arts research project due to lack of economic and marketable value. What is your opinion? Okay. So far, I have not come into this cultural perspective. Cultural perspective is, a, is, a, is an area where you must put inside. If you're writing it persuasive, you should you should say why it's important. I will not idea, but I'm not into that area because the proposal given to me all is related to my area. So what I'm trying to say, there's no such thing because they already put under culture is one of the perspectives that you can apply. So see how you persuasive your way of writing to say why there is a necessity to do this one. That's, that's the only answer I can give. Why is rejected in terms of topic, in terms of content, maybe, but not in terms of why culture perspective. I don't think so. 
Next, Dr. Tio. Uh, Prof. Panji, participants asking for the slide. Uh, I, will send, I will send the slide later, after this. Okay, I will give the slide. But let me tell you, I give the slide, don't after next time when I go any presentation, you all present my slide. Happened before. I've seen before my own slide being presented in front of me before. I went to one, one, one place, I'm not telling where, I was, the, I was asked to come there and I saw the presentation was part of my slide. I will give, but use it for your personal oh. use. Can I will definitely give. Okay, I will send after this to you, Dr. Tio. You can share with the you can share with the participants here. Uh, okay, Thanks. I need help from participants to fill in uh, the attendance and also survey. There are two forms uh, where everybody uh, need your help to fill in. One is attendance form, another one is survey form. Okay. okay uh, anybody else have any more questions? Any other question? Prof. Panjit, yes. if that's it, uh, uh, a uh, researcher would like to apply but have not started anything yet. So, any advice to them? Best of luck. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, you have not started me. When the due date, by the way? Huh? Oh, anyway, actually, faculty education put a date for the faculty members to be submit uh, to submit the proposal to faculty level uh, by yes. 9 February. By what February? 9 February. Uh, next week okay and i think the submission to the, the submission to university level is 22nd okay. 22nd february but to our faculty members uh we we will request to submit to faculty first before go to uh university level correct correct uh because we have mentor we we, we have mentor to help yeah i think for the mentor to help i think if i think it will be good the person who want to present, the person who want to ask the mentor to read, uh, let the person present first. Easier, I think it will be easier for the mentor to help by presentation and reading over, you see. Uh, because to ask the person to go through the, se eight, the seven, eight pages will be very tedious to change yeah. everything. The main contract is more important. Next question. Any next question, Bob? Uh, Okay. Oh, Hello, there. Okay, will Is there be a second still? cycle this year? Yeah, definitely there will be one. Now, uh, that there will every year there will be twice for uh, uh, FRGL presentation. Okay, those who are not prepared can start preparing for next year. Get a team, most important thing, get a team, get a suitable topic, and be very convincing. Prof. Panjip. Yes. One word. Actually, one, uh, one word to our faculty members, for those who are applying, uh, please let me know uh, the application so that I can prepare a mentor for them. Yeah, I think so. It's very important. So this Thank is an uh, yeah, announcement to uh, faculty members. Ah, faculty pendekan sila ambil makluman. Satu laporan daripada Professor Dr. Tio Sian Hun memalumkan bahawa setiap orang perlu memberikan Proposal kamu kepada pihak faculty sebelum diserahkan kepada pihak IPT. Sekian terima kasih. That's the rep live report from the faculty. <laughs> uh, is there any question from the floor? I believe that uh, all of us are now uh, applying FRGS uh, for for this coming round. Uh, so that I hope that we actually uh, we learn a lot from. Not only this webinar and the previous webinar and the and uh, actually last week, uh, Prof Baka also gave a very good uh, uh, webinar to us. Uh, a lot of input from him, so that I hope that we make use of all the webinar over here, and then uh, we can produce a good uh, research proposal. No, just someone say you can unmute your mic, please. You can ask question. Anybody want to ask question, please ask. You can unmute your mic, please. Uh, good evening, eh, Doctor. I'm Daljit from uh, UITM Para. 
Okay, I have a question, uh, doctor, because uh, most probably I will be going for the second cycle. That's why I asked you for the second cycle. The question is, doctor, yeah. uh, because I saw your slide just now, you need a subject matter expert in one of your team members in case you are doing something on technology. But because I'm from yeah. a language background, but okay. Yeah. So does the subject matter expert, he uh, will they look at the person's grade, you know, the, the, the position grade, all that? No, what we will look, we will not look at the grade. Grade is not important. We will look at that person's CV, CV in terms of his publication and track record or research. We, we don't care whether it's 52 or VK7 or 6, we don't care. We see that person, if he, if you say he's he's in the area of technology, he must have a little bit of publication in that area so that he can guide you. So doesn't mean he must be uh, the grade. If we don't go a grade level, our KPIs here is your, your person publication and track record of research. This is the one, not on grades. What is your advice? How many publications should the person have? Okay, Lan, you see now, I say a question. Now, government trying to give us 70, 80,000. Now, you must have a team of members who will be able to do the research. If now, imagine if you have never done any research before, will the government give you 70,000? No. If your team members all are young people, all are new, will the government give 70,000? Your proposal may be very good. However, they say, no, this time, this, this team might not be able to do that. So my suggestion is going to be, if all your members are teams, get one senior person who's a good researcher or publication into that area. But if you are doing a technological thing, which technology is the main gist of your study, you make sure you must have someone, you must have someone who's very good with publication track records into it. Thank you, Prof. Sasigan. Yes, yeah, sure. Take care, Meralji. I hope I answered your question. Yes, yes. Okay, ada apa persoalan lagi? Hey, if no, if no question, I wish all of you all the best, lah. Really, let me tell you, there are a group of people which I know they'll come for so many webinars. After each webinar. They listen, they get the idea they want to do. After one, two weeks, the idea gets fizzled out. They do not have the determination, the zealous in continue the project. Write the proposal. You don't submit, your chances is zero. If you submit, the, the, everybody says it's very difficult to get. I don't think it's difficult to get if you put your mind and zest into it. Get a good teamwork to submit. Everybody got a chance. Let me, I, 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 I believe all of you here, all of you will be able to be successful. Let me tell you, if you're not successful today, will be successful tomorrow. But if you don't put in a proposal and your proposal does not follow the criteria and your proposal is not good, then you don't deserve to get it. That's why get someone to write your, pro your proposal. All of you all definitely, if you are a lecturer in UITM, 100% you all are all can get. 100% can get. As long as you follow the criteria given. 100% because apply to Barang Kalian, Kalau you apply, Okay, any more questions? Now it's 3.52. You, I think you all should go and listen to the next one about the patent and search or whatever the carry is, 5%. Uh, I, I already sent the link in the chat. You can uh, use the link to go to the talk. And I would like to uh, really appreciate all the participants for joining us and also uh we are so uh thanks a lot to corporate communication unit uh top management faculty of education and the host dr sharifa uh, dr sharifa muslia and all members okay thank you thanks a lot and see you again any words from prof panjip no i think i wish everybody all the best and uh, do your best Okay, the, and I'm very sure UITM will help all of us when you send to IPT. You play your part. I think our RMC is doing a wonderful job. You play your part and they will help you as much as possible. Be zealous in your project. Get a good team. Again, we, we like to work in silos. Please have a good team members to work together. Once you get a good team, your proposal will be very good. Then don't choose your friend because he's your friend. Start thinking of yourself. I want to make this proposal successful and get a team who you think can work together. That's all. I wish you all all the best. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Tio. Uh, thank you. Don't forget. So uh, I would like to say thank you to Ponsuraimi. 
She is the head of corporate communication unit of Faculty of Education. Thanks a lot. Okay, have a nice day, everybody. Bye bye.